Hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with an Intact Immersive HQ. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Bloom Top. If you don't know what Bloom is, don't worry. This is why we're here. We're going to go over it. We'll give some little quick tips about it. End of last year, I did a blog with the HQ on the new Touch Design 2020. 23 official updates. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put it in the caption below, but there's some great stuff talking about what's new in the new update. And one of the things is the bloom top. I'm really excited about it and let's dig in. So just a reminder, this is a new top. So it is only in the 2023 update and beyond. So if you have 2022, you don't have this and you can check up here which version you have. So if you just open your operators and in tops, you should just see the bloom top up here. You're going to have an error when you drop it down because there's nothing pipe inside of it. So if I just put like a movie file in, pipe it in and you can start seeing this bloom. So what is a bloom? A bloom, it creates more intensity and a glow effect in for a image. It uses GPU to run it and it is also, the, the process uses mip maps and doing layers and highlights the brighter parts of the image. And maybe the bloom sounds familiar because they also have a tool in the palette and the image filter right here. The first thing you see the bloom and then just drop down here to compare. So what's the difference between having a bloom top and the bloom in the palette? Well, the bloom top is just one operator. If you double click on the bloom tool in the base component, you see that it is consists of a lot of different operators. So also one thing, this is gonna be less on your GPU since there's only one operator versus like all of these. And I personally think this is also easier to use and it the effect is nicer. So you can even see this banana piped in. This does like a nice glow. And this one just, just it's like not fully there. <laughs> and even you can play around the different parameters here. It's, it still doesn't give as much of an actual glow effect as this bloom over here. So where are all these parameters? It's Pretty simple where if you do a level pop, this might seem familiar where it has like black levels, black levels, brightness, gamma, bloom intensity, uh, min, min bloom radius, max bloom radius. So it's sometimes it's just the best thing is to just kind of play around and see what happens. But if this bloom intensity is zero, whatever you do, you can't see. So this is where you kind of have to make sure this is at least over one to see the effect. And also a great tool to see all these broken down of the different parameters. You can go to the help to operate snippets. And if you've never done operate snippets, this is the great thing uh, to get in your tool belt. It shows you examples of all the different not all of them, but a lot of the different operators and they have a new one for Bloom. So you can see over here, it breaks down on all the different parameters. So what does the Bloom intensity do? What does a source image do? What does the Max Bloom does? And there's a few different examples here. So this one for Bloom one, it shows and understands what the parameters isolated. And if you wanna see what parameters change, you can click on the bullseye to see this is what's happening. What is this source image? And also you can see more examples here in the operator snippets, which I personally prefer looking at operator snippets versus looking at the derivative page on Bloom, which is also very helpful. And it's also kind of explains more on how the Bloom works too. As I said, it highlights where are the bright parts of an image. So let's just kind of see different things, examples of uh, images and what does it do. So if we have a movie file in, I'm just copy and paste this. And what if we have a different image having a, let's do like a jelly bean one. Let's do a...
flower and a cloud. We'll copy and paste this a few times and just to see the difference. So you see that this white one is the brightest because it highlights the bright parts. So the black ones, not so much you can play with, but you can use this pre-black level to lower all the black levels so it gets brighter. So if you want to have more intensity on all of it, the pre-black levels is a good parameter to mess with. This one. So these are all the white parts and stuff. And let's like lower the black levels, higher black level. It's just only the really like highlighted parts that affects. And so same here, the clouds, it's kind of blown up. So you can lower the intensity on this. The radius, you can have a lower. It's like I maybe you want to have the sun to look brighter. Then you can this like bloom with these. It's great for images, but also or like video. And I personally, what I'm really excited to play with uh, bloom with is actually with different stops and making uh, 3D objects have a glow. So let's just make something really quick. Just kind of have an example. If I have a sphere over here and I'll add a geometry comp to it. And I will have a camera and a constant. And I want a ramp to go through on the constant. So I'm going to change this resolution to be bigger, 1080 by 1080. And I will change this to circular. And this black level alpha to be zero, this space to be period to go lower to something like 0.3, and the space to keep going. So abs time dot seconds. And so right now, as we saw that the white, the lighter the level works. So let's make this uh, white, this black part to be like a light blue. Great. We're going to drag this onto the constant. And let's try make a render top. Nothing seen because we need to add this onto the geometry. Cool. Uh, let's play actually this ramp. Let's do a radial. And let's have this geometry to rotate. That's my dot frame on the rotation one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's okay. So let's see how is it if we add a bloom. Let's uh, make the black level down and intensity down. All right, interesting effect. And also, what if you do like a line matte material? And just drag that on. Change this to a polygon and see how it does like make a more glow. And it's like an easy way, a fast way to really just look how much more interesting this is. For it because it would be great for particles and it's a I'm very excited for this new top that it could just make any not any but a lot of different things to just look extra nice and without being too heavy on a GPU. Let me know if you want to cover anything else in the new 2023 update. If you're also really excited using this bloom top, if you didn't know about the bloom and what are your thoughts? And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the interactive and immersive HQ Pro. 
The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.